a humble and charitable woman who shared what little she had with those in need. She was devoted to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. Today's curiosities are about Blessed Na Chica. Here are 10 curiosities about her. 10. Devotion. Na Chica, whose real name is Francisca de Paula de Jesus, is a notable figure in Brazil's religious history, revered for her deep devotion and simplicity of life. Born in 1810 in Baipendi, Minas Gerais, Na Chica dedicated her life to a profound faith in God and to serving those in need. Her modest and welcoming home became a symbol of charity and humility, reflecting her dedication to prayer and helping the poor. Known for her simplicity and spirit of charity, Na Chica lived in extreme poverty but used her few resources to support those around her. Her love for Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception and her commitment to prayer and helping others marked her life and spiritual mission. She is remembered for her selfless service and the miraculous interventions that many believe were performed through her intercession. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to avoid missing any curiosities about the saints. 9. Simplicity and Charity. Her life was a practical demonstration of her faith in Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. Instead of accumulating wealth or seeking recognition, she used her limited resources to support the poor and those in distress. Nachika's generosity was evident in her willingness to share what she had, whether through food, clothing, or words of comfort and support. In addition to her commitment to charity, prayer played a central role in her life. Nachika dedicated long hours to prayer, seeking solace and divine guidance. Her devotion to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception was not only a personal practice but also a reflection of her life of service to others. Nachika's simplicity and generosity were intertwined, creating a living testimony of how a life centered on faith can transform and inspire the surrounding community. 8. Spiritual Gifts Among the most notable manifestations of her spirituality are the gifts of prophecy and levitation, which have been documented through various accounts and testimonies over the years. Nachika's gift of prophecy allowed her to provide guidance and forecasts that proved to be accurate and helpful to those around her. Many accounts highlight how her words and advice, often inspired by a divine vision, helped solve complex problems and guide people during times of difficulty. Her ability to discern and interpret spiritual signs stood out, and many sought her guidance for personal and spiritual issues. Another notable aspect of her spiritual gifts was levitation, a rare and profoundly significant phenomenon in Christian tradition. The ability to float during moments of prayer and devotion not only impressed those who witnessed it but was also seen as a sign of her closeness to the divine. Nachika's levitation was not merely a spectacle but an expression of her intense spiritual connection and life of profound faith. In addition to these extraordinary gifts, Nachika was known for her ability to perform miraculous interventions. There are reports of people who were cured of serious illnesses and significant problems through her prayers and intercessions. Her life was marked by a series of miraculous events that not only confirmed her spiritual abilities but also reinforced her reputation as a figure of holiness and divine power. These spiritual gifts contributed to Nachika's fame and helped shape her image as a beatified figure who lived a life of intense devotion and closeness to the sacred. Leave your prayer requests in the comments so that Nachika may intercede for them before God. 7. Miracles and Testimonies Nachika's life is marked by a series of miracles and testimonies that highlight the depth of her faith and the strength of her intercession. Among the most notable stories is the miraculous episode of the multiplication of food, which illustrates how her devotion and simplicity were accompanied by divine interventions. The miracle of the multiplication of food occurred at a time of great need. Nachika received a visit from a large caravan of people at her home. Her dwelling, already modest in itself, was equipped with only a small pot of food, insufficient to feed all the visitors. However, to everyone's surprise, the food in the pot proved to be miraculously sufficient to feed each person present at the occasion, without the container seeming to empty. People report experiencing unexplained cures and answers to prayers through Nachika's intercession, consolidating her reputation as a figure of profound holiness and spiritual power. 6. Construction of the Chapel Using her savings and the resources she received in the form of alms, she began a project that would become an important center of faith and devotion in the region. The chapel, built with Nachika's limited resources, was a reflection of her dedication to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception and her desire to provide a place of prayer and hospitality for the community. This small building, constructed with much effort and devotion, quickly became a spiritual landmark for the people of Baipendi and for visitors seeking solace and spiritual guidance. 
Over time, the small chapel became a significant sanctuary. The growing devotion to Na Chica and the increasing number of pilgrims and devotees led to the need for a larger structure. The original chapel was replaced by a bigger church, a testament to the lasting impact of Na Chica's faith and the community's recognition of her holiness. This new church not only expanded the space for celebrations and devotion but also symbolized Na Chica's growing importance in the local religious life. The construction of the larger church reflected the community's devotion to Na Chica's memory and her figure as an example of faith and charity. Today, the site continues to be a center of spirituality and devotion, keeping alive Na Chica's memory and legacy. 5. Fame of Holiness. After her death in 1895, Na Chica quickly began to be remembered and venerated as a figure of great holiness. The recognition of her virtue and devotion soon spread, driven by events that seemed to confirm her sanctity. One of the most striking accounts that contributed to this fame was the episode that occurred during her wake. During the ceremony, witnesses reported a notable phenomenon, a smell of roses began to spread through the house where Na Chica was being mourned. This delicate and inexplicable aroma, which had no apparent natural source, was perceived by many people present at the site. The smell of roses is often associated with signs of holiness and miracles in Catholic tradition, and its appearance during Na Chica's wake was interpreted as a divine confirmation of her virtue. Na Chica's fame of holiness was not limited to Bipendi but extended beyond the city. The news of the rose scent and reports of Na Chica's holy life began to spread throughout the region and beyond, increasing popular devotion and attracting the attention of faithful from other places. Her figure came to be revered not only by local residents but also by many who heard of her deeds and miracles. 4. Prophecies and Guidance. Her ability to offer accurate advice and premonitions about future events made her a figure of great respect and reverence in the community. Na Chica's prophecies were not merely vague predictions, they were notable for their clarity and precision. Many people reported that she had a special ability to understand and interpret the complex situations in their lives, offering guidance that seemed inspired by divine wisdom. Her advice was sought by those facing challenges and uncertainties, and her words often helped bring clarity and relief. Moreover, Na Chica was known for her spiritual guidance, which led the faithful on their journey of faith. She helped people find solutions to spiritual and practical problems, often offering advice that seemed to go beyond human knowledge. Her ability to discern the right path for each individual was seen as a reflection of her deep connection with God and her understanding of people's spiritual needs. Accounts of her prophecies and guidance also include stories of moments when her words came true, confirming her reputation as a source of spiritual wisdom. This ability to foresee events and offer advice that proved accurate helped solidify belief in her holiness and the effectiveness of her intercessions. 3. Discovery of the Baptistry. Recently, a surprising discovery has caught the attention of researchers and devotees, a box containing old baptismal records was unexpectedly found. These documents, dating back to past eras, are directly linked to the life and holiness of Na Chica, also known as Francisca de Paula de Jesus. The box with the baptismal books was discovered under circumstances many consider providential. Upon examination, the records revealed detailed information about baptisms performed in the region where Na Chica lived and worked, adding a significant layer of context to her story and canonization. The importance of these records is not limited to the historical aspect, they were also considered miraculous by some due to the way they were found and the impact they had on understanding Na Chica's life. These ancient documents help illustrate the depth of popular devotion and the historical relevance of Na Chica, confirming aspects of her life and showing how her influence was recognized and recorded from early on. The revelation of these records also contributes to the canonization process, providing additional evidence of Na Chica's holiness and spiritual impact on the community over the years. The manner in which these records were found, almost as if it were a divine discovery, reinforces the idea that religious events can occur in surprising and mysterious ways. They remind devotees of the unexpected and often miraculous nature of the events surrounding holy figures, emphasizing the belief that divine providence can manifest in unexpected moments and forms to confirm the holiness and importance of individuals like Na Chica. 2. Miracle of Healing one of the most impactful accounts associated with Na Chica's holiness is the miracle of the healing of leukemia that occurred in an elderly patient. This miraculous healing is considered one of the most significant events that helped solidify Na Chica's reputation as a figure of sanctity. The miracle began when an elderly man, diagnosed with leukemia, 
was presented to Nachika's devotees as someone who had reached the final stage of the illness. The patient's condition was critical, and no effective treatment options were available in conventional medicine. Desperate for a solution, his family and friends turned to Nachika's intercession, asking for her help and prayer. It is believed that, after this plea for intercession, the patient began to experience an inexplicable and rapid improvement. Subsequent medical tests showed a complete remission of leukemia, something that surprised and challenged the understanding of the doctors monitoring the case. The patient's recovery was considered miraculous, given the previously dire prognosis and the lack of medical explanations for his cure. This miracle was a significant milestone in the process of Na Chika's canonization. In Catholic tradition, unexplained healing and recovery from a serious illness are often seen as signs of divine intervention and holiness. The event not only strengthened the faith of Na Chika's devotees but also provided substantial evidence for investigators and ecclesiastical authorities examining her life and virtues. 1. Beatification. Na Chika was beatified on May 4, 2013, in Bipendi, in a ceremony presided over by Cardinal Angelo Amato, sent by Pope Francis. The memory of the beatified is celebrated every June 14. We have reached the end of another story full of curiosities. Don't forget to leave in the comments which saints' curiosities you want to see here on the channel. And until the next story.